I would uh, I would love to say a, a great role, but I think a rather disappointing role. Uh, the Afrikaans Church has played an active role in supporting and entrenching apartheid. Over the years, and when I was young, uh, it was very blatant in the sense that the the Dutch Reformed Church, which is the biggest Afrikaans church that my family belonged to, said that apartheid was the will of God. It is in the Bible. Um, and it took them well into the late 80s and early 90s to really get rid of that. So that was a very, very negative one. Um, the Catholic Church and the Anglican and Methodist uh, to different degrees did play some of a, some of a role, but, but not very not very active. Individual church leaders started playing a role. In 1983, the UDF was formed, United Democratic Front. And one reason why that was so effective was that whenever they had a march or a protest or a rally, the front line were clergy, were, were religious people. Desmond Tutu, uh, Alan Bosak, uh, Mulana Farid Esak. So you had uh, black and white Christians and Jews and Muslim uh, religious leaders in front. Um, and that was an incredibly strong message. And then that kind of thing, the ANC completely dropped when they came back. I mean, they just dumped that whole culture that the UDF had. But that's what, what made the UDF so powerful. That's what kept us stable because there was Desmond Tutti. He was always there with Esak and Busak and, 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 and the rabbis. Um, so that, I think, was a very important role. The Anglican Church started playing a very strong role through their bishops. Um, and, and Desmond Tutu first, and then Ndungane, and now Makhoba. Uh, and I find it interesting that how those three men, more than any other uh, church, leaders of, of another church, played such a strong role. 